Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Victoria Forrest. I'm a member of VitaDAO, which is a community um, that's dedicated to funding um, and advancing longevity science that can improve people's lives. Um, now, I want, you to, I want to ask you two questions. The first one is, would you like to have the option to live in good health for as long as you want? Raise your hand if you'd like to have that. Woohoo! The second one um, is raise your hand if you want to die against your own will. And look around. Right. Uh, so we all agree that being alive and in good health uh, is the most important thing, but we tend to forget that until we lose it. At VitaDAO, uh, this is what I'm, I'm going to talk about. Um, and why we have to uh, fight aging to fight the degenerative disease that is going to kill us all eventually if we don't do something about it, why DSI is needed, and a bit about VitaDAO's success in democratizing uh, funding of longevity research and advancing it towards more startups uh, for further investments. So every day, around 100,000 people die from age-related diseases. That's one second, one life, we lose every day. That's like wiping out a small city every single day, and if that doesn't scream urgent, I don't know what does. And we might argue that this is part of life, and aging is natural, when my grandparents died, I realized that my parents and everyone, um, everyone else is going to die, including myself. So it was scary, um, so I put it out of my mind. And maybe it's a normal psychological response, a coping mechanism that we all experience the first time we hear about the idea of people getting old and dying. Cancer was natural, is natural, as, as, at least we it perceive it that, that way, right? Cholera was natural at some point, and we didn't accept that, uh, so we found solutions for those problems. So that means we should work on curing aging as well, because this is a problem right now. So we used technology to find solutions for these problems that were threatening our life. And we have gone out and checked each one of the list, and this is what technology is about. Balaji Srinivasan, one of the um, visionary in the tech space, once said that the ultimate purpose of technology is to eliminate mortality. Um, so why wouldn't we use technology to solve frailty, pain, and suffering that comes with, with aging? People used to gather around their, their children's uh, deathbeds, just watching them being consumed by bacterial diseases. And a little over a century ago, it was unthinkable that there would be a magic pill, a silver bullet that could cure infectious diseases which were killing most people at, at that time. And lo and behold, such innovations occurred. The antibiotics revolution happened Imagine nowadays if we choose not to give people in need the antibiotics they need, right? It seems barbaric. We couldn't fathom that someone needs a treatment and we wouldn't give, them, give it to them. We are now at the cusp of a similar revolution by targeting the fundamental molecular damage that causes aging. Um, and I think we will look back at this era when anti-aging therapies were non-existent as barbaric, just as it seems unthinkable today to deny antibiotics to those who um, need them. Future generation, generations will find it equally shocking that we once accepted the frailty, pain, and degeneration that comes with aging without the available um, means to mitigate it. So the, advancement, the advancements in medical science will make our current uh, practices appear primitive, 
much like how we view the pre-antibiotic era today. VitaDAO is a highly aligned community focused on collective action to fund early stage longevity research that could slow the biological effects of aging and maximize our active, healthy years. Um, and using the Web3 stack, it creates an environment where new and unconventional ideas uh, can flourish by decentralizing uh, access to funding, scientific tools, and communication channels. VTDO is decentralized, as I said before. Um, we are democratizing and ad advancing um, the rejuvenation biotech. I'll, I'll tell you about the problem of the traditional way of doing science and what we can uh, improve and how this I can help there. So pharma is treating symptoms instead of the cause of uh, chronic diseases, which is aging itself. Uh, the IP ownership is stuck in the 20th century. It's illiquid, difficult to transfer, uh, hard to exit. The public and patients, the most important part in this equation, they cannot be involved and they cannot own um, or have real ownership in the intellectual property. So there's this translational gap that is called the valley of death. Um, is that dreadful place where uh, the scientific uh, research, which is, might be promising, dries up for lack of funds. And with VitaDAO, we're not only funding more research, but we potentially saving lives faster than ever before by, bringing, by bridging this gap um, and bringing therapeutics to the marketplace faster. So imagine if accelerating the funding process for early stage longevity research, this could unlock numerous uh, siloed projects that are not, uh, they, they cannot exit the lab benches because they don't have enough uh, funding. Um, so yeah, because the government grants are very slow, very bureaucratic, um, and are usually risk averse, um, scientists all usually spend like 80% of their time writing grants instead of um, doing actual science. And this is like being stuck in, in traffic, racing for time to save more lives. The solution um, is this eye, as you guessed. So drugs that target aging are the future of medicine. Um, Balaji Srinivasan, this uh, visionary I was telling you earlier about, um, he said that longevity has the potential to be to traditional medicine what crypto is to traditional finance. And there's a huge overlap between uh, crypto people and longevity people. So this is where kind of the magic happens because of the collaboration and the tools we have available to use for that. Now, we, having these tools, we can fund and incubate the best aging research um, and enabling even frax fractionalization, which was not available just a few years ago. Um, we can leverage our community to develop the assets um, and de-risking them to further investment by VC, it's an easy process to, up, to have the application submitted, and you can get an answer pretty quickly, like two or three weeks. Uh, we can scale and deploy ex exponentially faster than traditional startups and VCs, because it's open and permissionless, everyone can join. Um, and there's a network effect, effect, which will bring you in the right arena to, to find funding, first of all. So how the DAO works is by funding longevity research projects, um, then from there is an intellectual property that's generated and monetized, hopefully. And if the proceeds are coming back in a few years, they will come back to the treasury and fund further projects. Vita DAO so far funded 22 projects, and we're just three years old, like, Next week will be three years old, which is 
phenomenal for me. It's incredible to see how many things we've been able to do. Uh, we've raised a community of 10,000 people, 2,000 token holders or more than that. Um, and we've deployed 2.2 million. Um, so the initial, um, the launching was uh, with a fair batch auction, uh, which ended up raising 5.1 million. And the second one happened in January 2023, oh, um, and that was like 4.1 million. So the strategic members you can see here, uh, Pfizer Ventures, uh, which is a big pharma company, right? It's kind of like this. <laughs> so now they saw that like pharma gets involved in a DAO, which is, you haven't seen that before. Um, so they saw that communities organizing around the common goal, they can fund and steer research, so they want to hop on this um, trend. I, I don't want to call it a trend though, because it's, I hope it's, I hope it's here to stay and to make big changes. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of projects we funded, and you can find them all on the websites. This is just a quick overview. Uh, last week, um, we tokenized the second IP NFT uh, for Art and Bio, which is a gene therapy project, and we raised over 300K. Um, besides the main focus of funding research, we also have an, some nonprofit initiatives, which is a longevity prize funding novel ideas. Uh, the first prize was 220K. Um, then longevity quadratic uh, donation with Gitcoin and the VitaDAO fellowship, which anyone can apply to. All right, so you have two options. You can either choose the first one to work on curing aging and get some extra healthy years and then work on a random fun project or you can work on a random fun project now and then this will happen. I think this is the most important mission we can work on right now to make sure, and it's not about living forever, it's about increasing the quality of life, adding more extra healthy years and compress the period of the last, like right now is 20 to 20 years, 25 years that people are in poor health and suffering. So we want to compress that period and even get rid of it and uh, reverse the aging process or slow it down. The community is open. Anyone can join and get compensated. If you're a researcher and you work on a project, apply for funding on our website. If you know a researcher and have a, a, a recommendation for us, then we have a bounty system and we can um, uh, yeah, give you some some of that. <laughs> and if you want to help, uh, the Discord is open for everyone. You can just go in there, introduce yourself, um, let us know if you have time or expertise to help with anything. And you can scan the QR code to join the, the Discord channel where everything is transparent um, and you can find out a lot of uh, new initiatives we're working on and so on. Thank you.